What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys 5 jailbreak tweaks for iOS 9.3.3 that have been released lately. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. So first up, we have Aki 2. This one's available for $3.99, and this is essentially the continuation of Aki, which is a jailbreak tweak back on iOS 7 that brought quick reply and quick compose to iOS. Now, of course, in iOS 8, Apple did add quick reply where you could pull down on a bitter notification to reply. But this tweak, you know, again, gives you quick compose and it also improves quick reply. So it just kind of supercharges that entire experience. So essentially, if you guys want to quick compose, you just go ahead and jump into your notification center. And as you can see right here, we have a new message saying swipe down to compose a new message. So we could just swipe down in here. And just like that, as you can see, that nice native looking animation, we get the quick compose interface. And of course, from here, you could just go ahead and type in a contact name and select your contact. As you can see right there, it just pops up right beneath the results or of course you could just put in a number whatever you want to do or you know address but once you go ahead and select your contact here as you can see you can now compose a message now something that's really useful about this tweak is as you can see uh, for the quick compose interface and the quick reply interface it adds a camera button to it so essentially you could go ahead and select this and you you could have the ability to take a photo and add it or go to your photo library and add it so normally that's only present inside the messages app but this tweak fixes that but of course you could just go ahead and type your message and select send and just like that you've quick composed a message and sent it so very nice design very good functionality as well all right so now i want to show you how this tweak improves quick reply so i'm just going to go ahead and send myself a message here and as you can see in the banner notification there i actually have a profile image profile picture for the contact of course if you have that assigned it'll show up if not it'll just show like that but that's definitely a nice touch to have and once again we have that camera basically option here where we could go ahead and attach a photo which is good and one of the really cool features about this tweak in terms of improving quick reply is you could actually slide over just like this and as you see there's three dots here and this allows you to see context of the last few messages that this particular person sent you so you know whatever person is texting you you could swipe to see their recent three messages that they sent just to provide some context as to what's going on in case you forgot and of course you could just reply as normal select send and you're done and another component to quick reply is essentially uh, if you go ahead and pull down on a banner notification and you know you're typing or whatever you're doing you know you don't even have to type anything and you go ahead and tap on this gray area as you can see you have the option to mark as red or remind me later now mark as red will essentially just act like you opened up the notification and remind you later will essentially just not deal with it so you could deal with it later so I'm just gonna go ahead and select remind me later and now as you can see there the badge is still there and it's still in notification center so I haven't read it yet so that's definitely a nice feature you know if you pull down on a banner and you're not really sure what you want to do with it and you essentially now have the option to choose what you want to do now you could also set an activator gesture to essentially evoke quick reply for Aki as well if you don't want to use the notification center for whatever reason so basically to set that up just go ahead and open up activator on your device and then of course you don't want to go into anywhere if you're not already there then just pick any gesture I'm going to use a triple press of the home button for this demonstration but select that and then you'll see Aki 2 in there just check it off and then you're good to go. Just perform that gesture from anywhere on your device. And as you can see there, just like that, Aki appears. So that's, that's a nice option to have as well. And it's just about it for this tweak. It's just absolutely beautiful. I've always liked this tweak. It's really nice to see that it's back up and running on the latest you know, version of iOS, iOS 9.3.3, that is capable of being jailbroken. It's been a long time, and you know, I've really definitely missed this tweak over the years. So once again, it's $3.99. It's called Aki 2. Oh, and just one more thing about Aki. As you can see here, inside an actual conversation within the Messages app, it also adds the profile images there as well. So that's a nice touch too. Next up, we have Calaspo 2. This one's available for free, and it essentially provides you with various options that allow you to customize your device. So it's kind of similar to Springtimize in that regard, but it's definitely a little bit more watered down, and it's also free, you know, for that reason, I assume. But anyways, as you can see right here, I've made some customizations. I removed the app icon labels on my home screen. I also removed the carrier name and the status bar there, so that, that goes for a nice clean look. And also on the lock screen, as you can see, I actually changed the slide to unlock text to ultimate iDevice vid. So just allows you to do things like that. And if you guys head into settings, you could go into the Colaspo settings and essentially just want to tap on settings again. And then you can go into Springboard, and then here are all these sections. So you have lock screen, status bar, control center, icons, folders, and assistant. So you could just jump into any of these, and as you can see, you have various options that pertain to that particular area of iOS. You could hide various things, you know, add custom text for certain things. As you can see right there, you actually have a control center 
color configuration as well. So if you want to change the color to control center, of course, again, you could do various things with the icons, etc. So you could go in here and configure everything to your liking. You could, you could actually enable nested folders, pinch to close as well. Those are some useful options as well as various other things as well. And after you're done in here, you can just go ahead and select respring and that's it. So just a decent way to get some good customization options on your springboard. Definitely worth checking this tweak out. Day night switch essentially adds a day and night theme to the toggle inside the do not disturb settings. As you can see right here for manual, you could essentially have the night theme right here and then when you toggle it on, it'll go to a day theme. So that's just kind of a cool touch. You could also make it globalized. So if you want every single toggle to look like this, you could do that as well, which is probably what you're going to want to do, you know, if you actually enjoy this look. So basically what you want to do is just go ahead and go back out to the settings panel for the tweak just down here. Here it is day night switch. And in here you essentially have the ability to enable global. So once you do that, just go ahead and select respring that it will apply globally. All right, so now let's just jump back to settings. As you can see here, now every single toggle has this look to it. I will just jump into a different panel, and again, everything's like that. So once again, day, night, switch. Next up, we have Safari Full Screen Scrolling. This one's available for free, and it does exactly what the name suggests. It essentially allows you to full screen scroll in Safari. So normally, the bottom bar disappears when you scroll, but with this tweak, as you can see, the top bar actually completely disappears as well. So normally, you know, the top bar just kind of stays a little bit subdued, but as you can see, it's completely removed. So now you could completely immerse yourself in your content 100%. Uh, and of course, as soon as you reach the bottom of the page, the bar will come back. But, you know, when, when you're actively scrolling, it's just a really nice thing to have. You know, it just improves the experience. And honestly, again, you could just slide up and whenever you want to get the bars back just like that. Or you could tap at the bottom or top of the screen. But just a really nice tweak and it's free as well. No options to configure. And our last tweak is bottom bar. This one's available for free and it actually moves the status bar on the home screen to the bottom of the page as you can see right here. Now, it's not perfect because it's actually overlapping with the icon labels in the dock. Um, and also when you go ahead and jump into an application on your device, as you can see, it, the status bar jumps back up to the top. Now in the description of the tweak, the developer does say that, that this, this is gonna improve. It's gonna have the ability to enable and disable per app, and you can move the status bar anywhere. So more features to come for sure. I think it's also worth noting that this tweak is probably intended for people who have their docs hidden, so that overlapping thing is not a problem. But if you guys jump into settings, you can go into bottom bar prefs and just enable and disable the tweak. And then just respring. That's just about it. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks, iOS devices, iOS software, that kind of thing. I'd really appreciate it. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.